Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back everyone. Let's continue our video lesson. It's regarding unit one, revision at the same book, mastering Arabic one. Let's start at page two. We will revise some letters together. Letters ba, te, fe, nun, and dia. Uh, in page, at page three, you will find the difference between print letters and hand letters, handwritten letters, uh, but actually, it's, it's not the big difference. I mean, in Arabic, we don't have capital and small letters, just letters, okay? Like English. I like English. So, for example, you have letter T. For example, this is the difference T with two dots and the T with the dash. If it's three dots, I mean, if it's T, you just do it like this, okay? So, this is T printed hand. Right. Okay, guys. At the same page, page three, you'll find in the picture in the blue box here, ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. It means welcome. You say it when when you, when you have a guest at your home and you wanna say welcome. You say ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Okay, guys. Um, let's go to page four. The same thing. The book teaches you how to write letters. Be the the noon and yeah. And as I told you before, letters yeah has two different ways. Either you write it here are they yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah comes at the beginning of a word, in the middle of a word, at the end of the word. Okay, guys? So this means you cannot write this yet at the beginning of a word. You can neither write this yet at the end of a word. Okay? Beginning, middle, end. If I have a word like yaguri, means run. It has two yaps. Here at the beginning yet, yeah, it's like this. Yeah. And then the last yet, yeah, it's like this. Yaguri, to run. Yaguri. Okay, guys, let's check our book again. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing at page five, of course, you know, it's just a revision. So I'm not gonna go in details. Uh, I'm just trying to revise this for you. I hope you all get A's in this Monday's quiz. Um, page five, it teaches you how to write be, te, te, nun, and ye. And it also teaches you the difference between fatha, dhamma, kasra. Fatha, dhamma, kasra. If you remember, fatha, fatha, it goes up, kasra, it goes down, dhamma. Ooh, it's like this, okay? Let's have, for example, letter T. T with fatha, T. Kasra, T, Dhamma, two. It's like this. T, Fatha, T, Kasra, two, Dhamma. Okay? T, T, two. One more example. And I have a letter like, yeah. Let's try something about yeah. Let's try Aleph. So Aleph with Fatha, it becomes A. Aleph with Kasra, it's E. Aleph with Dhamma, it's O. Okay? A, A, Aleph with Kasra, E. And actually, you have to write this Hamza down here. Alif with Dhamma, U. Okay? Okay, let's try one more example. If it's just only one dot, it's Noon. Noon, Noon, all right? So, so Noon with Fatha, Na. Noon with Kasra, Mi. Noon with Dhamma, mm -hmm. No. Okay, that's great. Let's move to the next part, page six. It's how to add letters together, to combine them together, to write a word. Um, you will find here, 
For example, the first, the first part, B with th, B with th. Don't forget to write, sorry, to read and write from right to left, not from left to right. Okay, guys. So B th beth. The next word t with b t. Next one th b t. Th bet. Th bet. Okay. Let's move to page seven. It's the same thing. اتصالات ناجحة عادة الأمور إلى طبيعتها بين السعودية واللبنان. This is the title, and you are going to look at this newspaper headline below. Yeah. And two examples of the letters in group one are circled. How many others can you find? I mean, this part. Yeah, you have to circle all the letters that you have already just learned. Okay, in that headline. Okay, guys, let me help you with that size. For example, I mean, if I'm going to get letter T, look at me here. Here I have T, and I have another T. And here I have T. Okay, guys. Let's look for letter B. B. Here we have B. Okay. And here is B. It's circled. Okay. That's good. If I ask you to search for letter C. Here is C. Ain. A Saudi. It means Saudi Arabia and Lebanon. 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 Okay, guys. So let's move to the next exercise. Exercise five. You're gonna connect these letters together, combine them together. For example, here noon and ye. Yeah. Just connect them. Nay. Te bin. Sorry. Te be noon <laughs> becomes. If it's te ye noon like this, mm -hmm. this is teen figs teen. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to next page, page nine. You are gonna listen to the audio and write the words. I mean the vowels on these words. Um, each word has a vowel. Uh, the letter, the vowel means like letters yeah. We're gonna speak about the vowels in detail later. So just listen to the audio. I mean the track CD one. Uh, listen to tracks from one to five, six, seven, mm -hmm, until page nine. Okay. Let's move to the next part. At page ten. You are going to learn some new words. The word bent. Bent. Bent means girl. Great. Bait. Bait. We are at page 10. Mm -hmm. I think you might want to look at this if you don't have a book. Mm -hmm. Bent. Here it is. Bent. Bait. Tibn. Tibn is hay, hay, it's something that horses eat. Bain, bain, between, bain. Bon, coffee, coffee beans, I mean. Bon, okay? If you looked at these words and you try to remember the meaning, you will find that most of them starts with be, okay? And... Most of them ends in noon or te. Okay, guys, let's move to the next part, which is sabahul khair. Sabahul khair. It means good morning. If you cannot say al khair, because I found that most of you, it's hard for them to pronounce it, you can say sabahul full. <laughs> sabahul nur. And the answer back is the same. It is the same as English. When I say good morning, someone answers you back, you say, Good morning. It's the same here. You say, Sabah al-Khair. The answer is, 
صباح الخير. You say صباح الفل. الفل means um, it's a kind of flowers, okay? It's like uh, that's what I think. I, I'm not, I don't remember. صباح uh, الخير. It means uh, sorry. Uh, when you say صباح الفل, the answer is صباح الفل. صباح النور. صباح النور. النور means light. Let's go to the next part, page 11. Here are some words that you need to learn. Ahlan, ahlan wa sahlan, welcome, welcome, okay? Ahlan bik or ahlan biki, okay? You know, you remember from the last video, the difference between bika, biki. Bika for male, biki for female. If you have a male visitor, you say ahlan bika. If you have a female visitor, you say Ahlan Biki. Sabah al khair, Sabah al noor, Masa al khair, good evening, Masa al noor, and the last one is Ma'a salama, goodbye, Ma'a salama. Let's go to the vocabulary here again. Bint, Bait, home, home or house, Tibn. بن بين تين أهلا أهلا وسهلا أهلا بك أهلا بك صباح الخير صباح النور مساء الخير مساء النور مع السلامة مع السلامة Bye bye guys. Here at page 12, it's gonna learn, teach you how to write the words. Here, for example, here's the I have the word bent, which means girl. Please guys, study this part hard. I know that you have you are now at unit five or six. So I guess that you are almost ready to get the full mark in that exam. You are great, Bob Dogs. Just keep moving forward. And bye-bye.